Hi, I'm Rita Wilkins, also known as the Downsizing Designer. So tonight's topic is moving out a decluttering method that really works. So you haven't heard from me for the, uh, the last couple of weeks because I've downsized again. Um, this time I moved and downsized to a beautiful urban suburban home that is 400 square feet smaller than my last home and it's the perfect size um, um, for my lifestyle right now. So as our lives change, our priorities change, and uh, just wanting, I wanted to downsize again for, the, for a couple of main reasons. The first one is time um, with family. So I wanted to be much closer to my son, my daughter-in-law, and my grandchild um, so that she can visit me after school. A second reason that I moved was just sunshine and nature. So I wanted a house that was filled with light, especially early in the morning, because I'm such an early morning person, and then a walk at, walkable neighborhood with the beauty of nature all around me. And the last reason, well, one of the last reasons I moved was entertaining. So I wanted um, a great floor plan and layout so that at this stage of my life, I can entertain family and friends more, both inside and out. So my new home, um, has all of these attributes and so much more. So one thing I know for sure and that I love sharing with all of you is that as our lives change, so do our lifestyles. They can change also. And at this stage of my life, nothing matters more to me than living a simpler life with less stuff and having more time, quality time, with the people that I care about and love. And that includes you, you know, my Facebook audience, um, to have more time to write articles, to write blogs, make videos about downsizing, decluttering, and lifestyle design. Hopefully, all of these are helping you on your own journey to live a simpler, happier life with less. So that's my big announcement. I, I downsized um, just in the last two weeks. That's why you haven't heard from me. So why am I telling you all of this? Because while decluttering and downsizing, again this time, the third time in the last seven years, I decided to experiment myself with a, a method called the moving out decluttering method. It's a method that you can use even if you're not moving. So um, continue to listen because I think it's going to, to impact you. It, the method is called moving out. It's like pretending that you're moving if you're not moving. So it gives you that chance to clean out and declutter those unopened, those untouched boxes that you might have um, never unpacked from your last move. It also gives you an opportunity to go through every single drawer, every single closet, and make decisions as if um, you were going to move, if you want to keep them or not. And then it also challenges you to pare down um, to clean out and get organized so that your old home can begin to feel like a new home again. One that you can get excited about and one that you can fall in love with all over again. And for those of you that have allowed clutter to build up like we all do, this particular move out method um, is pretty amazing and that's why I wanted to try it myself. So what's so different about just regular decluttering that we talk about all the time versus decluttering for a move? So those of you that move or have moved um, recently or in the past, you'll understand this. Number one, um, as you're moving, there's obviously a, a deadline. You know, the, there's a move date. Um, and in this particular case, if you're not moving, it's a strict deadline that you need to stick to. And there's a new sense of urgency. So just pretend that your moving trucks are going to be um, drive, coming into your driveway by the date that you set, that timeline that you set, and that that's non-negotiable. And pretend that the movers are going to be there soon and you only want them to take those things that you will want and use in your new smaller home. The second way that this differs um, from a normal decluttering method is that there's no time to waste. Um, you somehow, you know, something kicks in, you work harder, you work faster, you work more efficiently. There's no time to waste, so you, you have to make decisions. There's no dilly-dallying around or procrastinating. 
And then the third reason that it's so different is that there's just so much that will fit into that new smaller home. So you're challenged to make tough decisions about what works and what doesn't work. And the fourth reason, the fourth way that this is so different is that there's a newfound sense of urgency and excitement and a renewed energy. So think about when you moved to your last home, how exciting it was to think about, um, you know, you're looking forward to that new home, the new lifestyle, new friends. So if you are moving, you know, you have that excitement, but if you're not moving, um, it's still fun to think of a completely new, clean, organized home. Um, and you see your, your old home or your existing home through new eyes. So this decluttering method gives you that kick in the pants that we all need sometimes to stop procrastinating and to just do it. So here's how the moving out decluttering method works. So you write down a, a moving date, put it on your calendar. This is a drop dead deadline, just as if you were moving and you know that those trucks are gonna be coming. And the second thing is room by room, um, clear out each drawer, each closet, touch every single item and ask what if, if I am moving to a new smaller home, do I want it, do I need it, and will it fit? Now I will remind you that, you know, you don't have to necessarily do every single room, and if you, unless you are moving, of course. Um, but if you set certain deadlines and pretend that the movers are coming, let's say for your bedroom, your living room, whatever, um, it still gives you that same sense of urgency. The third um, step here is to make a decision and to focus. There's no time to waste. Um, you have that deadline, you have that moving date. So sort, keep, donate, sell, dispose of. And then the fourth step, of course, is to let go of those things that just don't work for that new home or that new lifestyle. And number five is to clean. So um, when you think about this, um, if you're moving, you obviously want to clean out the medicine cabinet, the pantry, just wipe down the shelves. And it doesn't have to be a, a deep cleaning, but just as if you were moving, you're going to wipe down those things. And then the next step is to move back in. And you're only going to put those things back in that you really want and that will give you that new lifestyle, that new home look that you're looking for. And then a little bit of a caveat that I put in here um, is that um, you can maybe create one box or two, probably not many, um, those things that you can't decide, you know, that you maybe need a little bit more time on um, and that put a date on it. So if, you know, today is May 30th, um, you know, put in September 30th or whatever it is, but put a few months on it, then look at that box again. If you haven't used it, if you haven't missed it, chances are it's time that it could go too. So this method is really motivating. That's why I wanted to try it myself and then share it with you um, and realize that not everybody likes moving as much as I do, but this method will help you clean out, it'll help you declutter, and it'll challenge you to pare down so that when you do move, whether, whether you want to or whether you have to, you will have done yourself a huge favor because much of the hard work will already be done. So I hope that this helps. Um, I will be back on track um, the next couple of weeks. Um, if I have travel plans or something, I'll certainly let you know. But thanks for your patience. I'm sorry I wasn't on for the last couple of weeks, but I will catch up with a few extra blogs. Take care.